to me, craft made aprons would be that, you know, I found my place and that I do have a place. I'm not a traditional chef, you know, I, I didn't go to culinary school. My dad passed away when I was 18 months old. And then um, when we were refugees in the, the, in the camp, um, you know, our family unit consisted of myself, my mom, my grandmother, who's a widowed, and my great grandmother that's a widowed. So I was very close to these women that um, became my family. Growing up with my grandmother and um, just being around her all the time and just being in the kitchen, it just became very natural and just became very comfortable. People don't even know that I've been in the restaurant industry for 15 plus years and that's because for the first maybe like 13 years I was kind of that invisible restaurant owner, invisible chef. Before I felt like, well, I can't call myself a chef if I didn't go to culinary school or if I didn't stage at the most prestigious restaurants out there. So I can't call myself a chef. As soon as I met Kate, it wasn't about her apron. It was about Kate. You know, it's about this person who's just, she's a mom who's making these comfortable garments for, for, for her son and then realized that there were other people who needed it as well. When I put it on, I don't ever take it off. Like I literally get my car and drive with it everywhere I go. This was made here and made by, you know, a fellow Minnesotan with so much purpose. Now my team is proud of it, you know, like when I give them an apron, they think I appreciate you, you know, like this is a gift that I want to give you because I want to give you that comfort, you know, that you don't have to strain your neck or I want to give this to you because I feel like, you know, that you are part of this culinary family, that you deserve to be wearing the best and you, you are valued no matter what position you are on the line. It's the same feeling I had when I got my, you know, like I belong. The people that worked for me weren't all in uniform, you know. We all looked different. We all had, you know, some were an auntie, you know, and some were like high schoolers. And, but that's the people that was within our community. Those are the people that came in and wanted to be a part of what we were doing. When you cook with passion and with heart, and when you believe in what you do, and when you listen to people, and... <laughs> I became a chef that people wanted to know more about, and people wanted to hear my stories, and, um, and people wanted to see me in, in, in Kate's aprons.